They're waiting on the platform, they're waiting for their opportunity. As the shield closes in, five minutes and a half to go, guys. And everyone's making their positions for the final stand. The final battle is almost a pass. We're going to see one epic showdown, I believe. It's going to be one of mass maneuverability. People are going to be dodging left, right and centre, jumping around, a lot of footwork on this final fight. You're going to see less dino work. I mean, remember... <gasps> Eskor came in behind him and he took out one of the... One of the just... Jula Booth. He managed to take out one of Jula Booth. I'm not sure if that was a mine or something, but one of the, the winning tribe has just gone down. This could change everything. Everything could just change now. They only have one trike to ride now in the final battle. Take out that guy, you get both trikes for yourself. And I underestimated Mr. Stonehouse Man, but there he goes. He's coming up right behind him though. This could be his end. But there you go, just like that, the tables could have turned. And he's right behind him, and he takes one shot on the back of him. They're going to have a sniper off right here. Oh, the level trike, 12 trike goes right in. His trikes are on passive! His trikes are on passive! He should knock them up to neutral right now. Oh, he's wasting his time. He's put them on neutral. He's got plenty of health on that trike. That other level 12 trike should go down. He's got no opportunity here. If I was the sniper, the sniper right now, I would rather swoop in with the pterodon. Oh, his pterodon went down. That is a shame. He's stuck. He's he should have been jumped down and go round. Jump down and go round. You're going to lose your trike, friend. Oh, he lost the trike. Mr. LeBouf is gone out of this match. It's anyone's game right now. It's anyone's game right now. The ones to fear right now, though, in my opinion, are these guys over here, the barbecue lovers. I think the trikes could easily handle that T-Rex. But it's when they use that T-Rex. If they use that T-Rex strategically, if they send it in against players, and the players do not have a chance to mount their uh, dinosaurs, then that T-Rex has won them the game. It's the, it's, it could be the biggest win. It could be an incredible win. Is this guy now on the platform? You could see a Stonehouse man versus Legendary number 2 on the platform. But it looks like Eclair is coming up behind them. He's going to run straight into that. The brightness of that drop in the middle might actually uh, support his getaway <laughs> if he chooses to do so. He doesn't realise there's a body just to his left. Can you see the body? He sees the body. He's going to go in to loot it. I think the other guy already got all the loot he needed from it. He's hiding under the platform until the barrier is close enough for him to run up. He only has one person remaining, that's right. There's only one team with two people, and that is the barbecue lovers. How's Dr. Legend doing? He's running away. In two minutes and a half time, we're going to see the final battle. This guy's following the shield up. Eclair has no idea he's there. They're going to have a fight of their own. He shoots him in the chest. His chest piece is gone. One more shot and he takes him down. There goes legendary number two. Stonehouse man has just taken away the best hide and seek player in the game. We are down to four members. Five people, four tribes. The four tribes remaining are the Barbecue Lovers, Just Do It, Suicide Squad, and Depis Tados. Hello Tash, can I get a shout out for Tash in the chat? <laughs> Tash is a uh, another streamer, very entertaining streamer, how you doing Tash? Thank you again for the follows guys, very much appreciate it. Escort. He's, he's now bringing the pain, He's he's been hiding in that stone house the whole time, I asked would he bring it, and he bring it, he bring it. But these guys are biding their time just like they should do. Have you got both of them here? Why is his partner, is his partner, let me just find him. I can't find his partner. It won't let me snap to him. That's peculiar. Okay, well, I don't see him up here. I don't see him up here. Oh, he's moving his uh, his trikes into a battle position, I think. Or is he just taking on a wild anchor? I think it was just that. But what have we got? What a final fight. It's anyone's game right now. I don't know who I want to take it. Dr. Legend might deserve this. 
but at the same time only through fluke these guys have probably done the best strategy in terms of taming yet the just jerk crew have consistently come in with an aggressive style they've come in with these two amazing trikes which i just don't think are beatable but they can't chase down players so if it comes down to a player fight they've really got no chance are they charging them possibly charging them we might get a fight here oh he's brought the trikes over i don't know if that's a good idea by him his mates on the other trike level 39 trike i'm not sure if he should have dragged them over there i'm not sure if he should have dragged them over there he doesn't realize the level on them they're in the fight now they're going after the different people. The T-Rex is going to get involved. Are those trikes taking any damage? They could knock the trikes out. That's their best bet. Tall poor damage to the trikes is your best bet. If that guy was riding on one of the trikes, maybe. The Anklear is coming in from the side. I don't... Oh, that T-Rex is taking too much damage. The trikes are too strong. He should not have dragged the trikes over there. He should not have done it. The T-Rex goes down. The T-Rex is now out of the game. He's on that trike. The trike has still got loads of health. And he's riding it. Riding it is going to be his saving grace here. Survivor locations revealed. These two are going to see that they're right next to one another. But the fight is going down over here. Gunshots. I heard a gunshot. A bullet came flying in. Those two trikes might actually go down. The better of the two is running around. It's, it's flanking. That's some smart AI. But uh, he's going to lose that trike. He's just getting triple teamed right now. And his trike goes down. Unconscious. And it's dead. He tried to call it off. I don't know what he was whistling at. But they can outrun those trikes. They just need to outrun those trikes. Maybe try and kill them. If they can kill them, they can get down to uh, an equal footing. But these two are going to fight now. These two are going to fight. Guns. Guns against one another. Just do it. Versus Despiados. And just do it's out of it. Just like that, the two trikes become untamed. Barbecue can pick up the trikes, form them. And Desp, just, Esco, just did a massive favour to these guys. If they realise that those trikes are unmanned, he can just turn and tame it. Turn and tame it. He can see that they're unmanned. He's just panicking. Turn and tame them, sir. Big, big mistake if he doesn't. Ha! <laughs> They haven't noticed, they have not noticed that those are untamed. Escort, Mr. Stonehouse man, I mocked him at the beginning of the game. He's now proven to... And he snipes out Dr. Legend. The dragon has died. And it's out of here. There's no remnants of the dragon left. This guy has been MVP in the final. This guy has proven why his Stonehouse gave him the confidence, gave him the hope to win this game. And it looks like... My money would be on him right now in this final two tribes, three living pairs, barbecue lovers, two of those guys against this one guy. If they had tamed these trikes, they might have had a chance, but they have taken the trikes down. They've made a very bad mistake with this. They're just running from the trikes. They're using up all their stamina. They are just now running, moving targets for Esker to take out. Let's see some of his sniping skills come into play. The man, the doctor, the legend falls. And he's on foot. He's chasing him down. Oh no, he's not. He's still getting chased by the trikes. I do not know what's going through their heads right now, but they must think those trikes are still against them. If he stops, he can tame them. If his power got in there, they're wasting so many arrows on the fight. But he can claim that for himself, and you'd have two strong trikes to fight against the single remaining person. Stonehouse man coming in with those stonehouse plays. I told you earlier he'd be cooking up something mean and he's coming in with a proper lobster dinner with a serving of revenge because he has come in here and he's proven to all of the others that he doesn't need dinosaurs. He doesn't need your trikes. He doesn't need your T-Rexes. All he needs is a sniper rifle, some bullets and a clear shot of your head. He shoots one of the trikes. Does he know that these trikes are untamed? Is he going to shoot one and then claim it? Could he be the genius behind that manoeuvre? I really hope... Nope, he's just shooting the trike as it comes towards him. Everyone has lost an opportunity here. He's wasting all his bullets on this trike. And I feel really bad for him. I feel very bad for him. All he has to do is press E. All that ammo wasting on something you can... 
Oh, he's going to die to it if he's not careful. I'm not sure what that sound was. But I think Mr. Stonehouse is going to die to a wild trike because he just missed an opportunity. He's, oh, and he takes it down, but he's low on health, low on ammo, I'm sure. He's probably used up so much. I'm not sure what, what has been going through these guys' heads. See you later, Dishkrim. Cheers for the host again, man. Hot damn, they bring down the Anklio. And now, this is all about the foot race, boys and girls. This is a two versus one on the ground. May the greatest piece of nature win. And we're going to see just who wins from this battle here. He takes one shot. These guys over here don't have the ammo to sustain this fight. They're going to have to get in close. They have some arrows. But this is range versus melee right now. Rogue Shrike advances to the next round. Yeah. But this guy did lose a lot of health before. I don't think he's at full health. Though his armor didn't break. So maybe he is. Maybe he's quite close to full health. Maybe he just panics with that whole fight. That's a good spot to be because of the bloom from the... Uh, from the supply drop. I really hope to see... This guy take on the two versus one because he's been MVP in this final. He's absolutely dominated. There's 33 minutes of the sudden death left. We're going to see the ending in the next minute, I assure you. Two tribes remaining. One of these tribes will go forth and bring their, bring their team with them. Double taming. That's not really an exciting event at this last minute. One of these tribes will go forth to the next round where they'll be facing off uh, to be put into the final. To win a whopping 20 grand split four ways. Now, I'm not sure, but Eskel might have come into this game alone. And if that is the case, could he be a lone survivor in the next round if he wins? I have no idea. But this whole game could have turned out differently if two of the barbecue lovers didn't decide to just outright kill themselves on that rock. Everyone, if you don't know who Pedro Sultano is, you probably all do because you're watching Ark and he has missed Ark himself. That is Ralph. Go and give him a follow. He's a buddy. Oh, and Escort brings down one of them again. He's only 1v1 in him now. It's him, his sniper, versus this one guy. I think he's only got that crossbow of a few hours left. His chest piece is gone. He only needs to get a chest shot and he's probably going to take him down. This Escort has come up to this final platform and dominated. He's absolutely wrecked everyone. He is an absolute assassin in this final part of this game. He's, I mean, I mocked him the whole way for just sitting inside a stone house and cooking. I, I didn't know what he was doing inside that stone house, but all that hot boxing with the furnace must have brought him into some sort of high amount of confidence to, to end this game in such a thrilling manner. He's going to finish off this guy. I have all the confidence that Esco has got this, and he will be going through to the next round. But let's see if Dodolo can pull something out of his chitin backside and change the whole display of this game though the smart money would not be on him right now he is an MLG overlord exactly he will be in the halls of Valhalla alongside uh, now Zul sorry I said his name wrong Zul and here it is the final battle he just has to get that good shot on him, get a chest shot, and he'll probably go down. He only has a hide helmet as well. If that guy's health is low, then that'll probably take him down. <laughs> that supply drop in the middle is so blinding. What is Escort's plan right now? Stay at a distance, get the shot you need, don't take any risks. He doesn't need to. On this final platform, I believe he might have killed one, two, three four people already, maybe five people, just with that sniper rifle. He has been an absolute monster. Absolute monster. I mean, stand aside Will Smith, because I think Escort is going to have to start playing uh, Deadshot in uh, the Suicide, uh, Suicide Squad movie coming up, because he has not missed a shot. He's, he's consistently proven that I'm an awful com uh, commentator by 
me mocking him, I said just before we got up to this platform when there was about six tribes remaining, who's everyone's favourite? I said, you can't choose Stonehouse Man, this guy, because there's no way he's going to win. And watch him prove me wrong. He might as well press Z right now because I'll pick up his shit and eat it. I'm honestly proven wrong right now. He's, he's in, I'm baffled by how well he's done. Dodolo hiding in the grass, hoping to get a sneaky little uh, run in with their uh, score. At this point in the game, the shield needs to start closing in uh, further because we're going to have a slow couple of minutes here until he finds him. Eskel's on the wrong side of the supply drop, he's not looking in the right place. I just want to see this final battle between them. Sounds like my voice has got. I have been talking for the last six hours consistently. In before dragon hype. Is, does that come out? What time does the dragon come? Okay, Eskor is now going towards a similar... I mean, I mean, he has no idea where he is. He has no idea where he is. What is his plan? If I was Dodolo, I'd be starting to make my way towards him, not hoping for the dragon. I think that's probably what he's going for. He needs to start just making his way towards Escort and then get a cheeky couple of uh, crossbow shots in. Oh, that sucks, David. It should come in sudden death at some point. Okay, sweet. No, no, it comes back. Yeah, at some point in sudden death, he means like maybe halfway through. That would be good. I can't believe these two haven't squared off yet again. Come on. Dodolo. Grow a pair, stand up, get involved. Don't rely on that dragon. He's looking around for his friends. He's probably saying some prayers under his lips. Under his breath. Please, Dragon of the Sky, come down and save me from this danger. Whereas Eskor was just looking for another thing to kill. Look at and he found him. He takes one shot. Dodler, he must have missed because Dodler hasn't moved. Oh, he takes another shot. I'm pretty sure that hit Kitan or he must have hit the panel right behind him. He has no idea he's been shot at. He's still clueless. All he can see right now is grass. Whereas Eskor sees the victory lying in the grass. He knows this is his victory right here. He knows that all he has to do is finish this fight with a couple of good shots. Oh, can he see him? Yeah, I kind of want to see the dragon come in now. But I think Eskor's going to pick him off. Escort with the shot. He's still missing. I've no idea what he's doing because oh, and Escort takes him out of a shot to the head. The cowardly tactic doesn't work, and Escort moves on to the end. What an absolute amazing victory! He absolutely dominated that, and. He deserved that victory in the end. Surviving for the longest time, Eskor will go solo into the next round. Worst sniper, I know. And he was doing so well during the whole thing. I didn't realise he knew where he was. That was a very peculiar ending. 